I made my own hairline and hair products because first of all, I was tired of people coming to me with cheap hair. I felt like, okay, Cliff, you can sell quality hair, you can make quality products, and your job can be so easy, and you can make money from doing it. Boss bitch, boss bitch, all I ever be. Boss bitch, boss bitch, Fendi Louis V. Today is a day of my class, and even though the wrong address was sent out, my supporters didn't care and they still showed up. I was in the motherfucking bathroom, so when I come out, this old ass bitch gonna come up to me talking about, is your name Clifford? I say yes it is. She's talking about, well, I'm serving you papers. Papers for what? Only thing is talking about, ordered a large amount of hairs, hair and never received it. Is the bitch still here? She walked away fast as shit with an old woman. She was like, <laughs> But this is my thing. Anytime someone has ever ordered from me, if I couldn't ship it to them, they gotten a refund. Even if they haven't been notified, like, hey, you've been refunded, they still have gotten a refund. It's very common that people dispute things so they don't have to pay for the product. And I feel like that's scamming. How does she like hand it to you? She was like, my name is Sergeant Judge and I'm serving you. And she just walked away real fast. She's nowhere to be found. She skedaddled. I ripped her motherfuckers ripped up. Ripped the papers up? This is all the fucking <laughs> Oh, wait, I mean this. <laughs> wow, mamas. Yeah, girl. I feel like this is fake. Yeah, but listen, we got money to get to. I know. So we're not about to worry about this. It's time for you to go back to that class. You know, okay, mamas. All right, see you in a little bit. I ripped it up because I don't want to see that negativity. Don't bring me that to my class. Bitch, are you crazy? All right, y'all, I'm back. When you're doing a frontal, you have to first bleach your wig. You have to pluck your wig. You have to do your nude stocking cap. You have to glue the wig on. You have to mold it with wrapping lotion and do your baby hairs. Then you go into styling. It's a lot. So the wig is bleached. I have blue dried a little bit. See how now the knots are bleached? You don't see the black dots no more. Now I'm gonna put it on this head. This is called a canvas head. This is what I use to pluck. Why plucking? I mean, do you want a thick hairline when you wear a frontal or you want it to look natural? You don't want to look like a man, okay, honey? I parted back like an inch, pluck the first part, part it again, pluck just that section, and then I pluck it again. See how I'm plucking it all going one way? Because you don't want a straight line, so you just kind of want to go everywhere. Just making sure the hair is getting thinner. We're going to start prepping her to put the wig on. So right now, I'm just slicking down all of the hair that are like flyaways. You're gonna wipe the forehead off with alcohol. You're gonna wipe it off a couple times. So these are sheer stockings, like pantyhose. They come in different skin tones. For her, I'm gonna use this one. Any questions? Do you prefer to go up a color with those, or does it need to match the person's skin? Because it looks a little lighter than her. It look a little lighter, but I have the concealer, just the color on it a little bit. Oh. So during the seminar, Cliff pulls me out to tell me that he got served. So I'm sitting here acting like a six-year-old, putting together a puzzle. I'm about to tape this back together so that we can read it and understand exactly what he's being served for. Right now, my only focus is Cliff getting through this class. So I'm gonna have to talk to him about this later. This is how I was looking right now in the back. This can really annoy your client. So we're gonna go ahead and sew the back down going straight across and then we'll cut it. Hair in African-American women, we can be so versatile, braids, and just different creative styles. A lot of people are investing in their crafts so that way they can make lots of money by doing these techniques I'm teaching them. All right, so real quick, we're gonna come straight down the back and cut. So I'm just going to come back with my concealer one more time. Once again, we're going to use alcohol. And this is to remove the makeup that we just put on there. Get as close as you can. I'm going to just place it and just do a test real quick before I lay the tape down. We're just going to go ahead and cut the lace. I cut it like as close as I can, because you don't want to see no lines of lace. I'm going to pass it around real quick, y'all, but y'all got to be fast with it. I'm going to start laying the tape down. So what you're doing is you're covering a little bit of the hairline and the cap. All right, y'all, so now next step is the glues. I have a question about your application that you're doing right now. So I don't know if the first time you put the glue, if it dried or... I just put it on, waited like 30 seconds, and then put the other one on. Can you tell us about you making your first million at 19? So when I was about 15, um, I was charging like $45 per sewing, right? And I was doing about two a day, okay? And then I started using this thing called Acuity Scheduling. Your clients can book appointments on there. It tracks how much money you're making. So from the time I was 15 to the time I was 19, I, I ended up making a little bit over a million dollars. That came from all the classes I taught, 
or the products I sold, or the clients I took, or the wigs I made. Like, I mean, I was going on tour with different celebrities. I was even skipping school. Everything combined together within those four years, I made a million, which I felt like it took forever. As far as baby hair placement and like knowing how much to make baby hairs, how do you do that? I feel like the key to perfect baby hair placement is just looking at the client's face. Like, cause sometimes when I look at my clients, I say, okay, I'm gonna give her a little parifa. You know, I'm gonna give her a lot. Sometimes I say, I'm gonna give her a little. But I feel like baby hair add flavor. I go off of my client's preference. I like doing people with frontals around her skin tone because I feel like it's, it just looks more real to me, it does. And now we're done. Despite all the drama that went on, the class was a huge success, honey. Not one of my supporters cared that the address was changed. That's how you know you're winning. I'm extremely happy that I flew. I'm extremely happy that I came here. I feel like he takes his craft very personal and dear to himself. They learned hands-on technique. Cliff was passing stuff around. They got everything they wanted plus more. He didn't keep his secrets to him. He, he told us everything we needed to know. Me and my best friend, we drove seven hours. I don't regret it at all. I'll do it all over again. I think he's the best at what he does. Hey, bitch. Bitch, what's up? Nothing, how you doing? How are you, mama? I'm great. Jokorian is a friend that I met about three years ago. I love Jokorian to death. So look, I was talking to this boy recently. You know, we kind of getting serious and I want to tell my parents about me being gay because you know, I never really told them. About time. About time. About time. Give me a high five. Yes. <laughs> You gotta do what's best for you. Do you feel like both of them are gonna accept it? Because at the end of the day, you're their child. I kind of feel like my mom's gonna be less accepting than my dad. Really? When I get around my parents, I kind of talk a little different. Like, I kind of tone it down. I think she's in denial about it. I had a situation when I was younger when she caught me being gay. What did you do? What happened? <laughs> you did something with a boy? Yeah, or you something was like watching that. something and she wasn't supposed to? Yeah, something like that. That happened to me too. When she found out, uh, she took me to counseling. I said that I wasn't gonna be gay anymore and I felt like I had been delivered from being gay. When I came out to my mom, it was because I was like madly in love with this boy and we was going out on dates and stuff and people were seeing us together. So I felt like, wow, like I really told everybody except my mom. I just sent her a text and was like, mom, I like guys. It brought us so much closer. Like, from you holding back from this one thing, just imagine how your relationship is gonna be even tighter. When I was a kid, I remember I was, you know, on my computer watching stuff and doing stuff I wasn't supposed to. My dad stumped me out one time to the point where there was blood coming out my mouth, and I never could understand why he was doing that to me. Like, it was, it got really bad. I was tired of, like, being hit on and called, like, different names. You can't do that to a child. You can forgive, but you can't forget things. Right. When you're young, a lot of people say you're confused and stuff, but I know what I wanted, and I know that I wasn't confused. And I don't feel like he failed me as a parent. I just felt like that was my choice. People don't understand that being gay isn't a choice. Like, I mean, ever since I was a kid, I can remember always having an attraction to boys. Yeah, let them know, like, it's been since birth, okay? I came out the womb looking for like, you know? Ooh. Like, <laughs> but yeah. I think I'm gonna send him a text message tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Jacorian, a text or a call? No, a text because it's been like a year and a half maybe since my parents both talked. Yeah. So I feel like it's a good way to be able to tell both of them at the same time and not have to go through the process twice. What exactly are you texting them? Um, I'm really gonna explain to them what being gay means because I feel like people have this stereotype of what being gay means. Like people think that if you're gay, you're automatically gonna be a girl. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to understand that just because Someone wears makeup or hair doesn't mean I want to be a girl. Yeah. You know, well, my parents, they be seeing you on social media and they be like, Am I a girl? Yeah, they be like, Is he a girl or a boy? And I'm like, He a boy. They be like, But he wear hair and makeup. I'm like, But he's a boy. I feel the same way. Like, hair and makeup interests me, but so I don't want to be a girl. It's going to be like, imagine like 500 pounds on each shoulder and just imagine somebody taking it up and you just being able to be free. Right, like I can't carry my bag, so I can't yeah. wear makeup around yeah. them, you know, because I'm trying to be... Right, of course. Yeah. So like, I definitely feel like you should go for it. When you give them the long lecture, it's kind of like you're persuading them to accept you when right. you don't have to do that, you know? But I feel like you telling them, I'm gay. Right. I'm gay. It. I'm gay! Like, you know, you're letting them know. I hope Jacorian goes home tonight, set himself free, tell his parents about him, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how this goes. Coming up on Wig Out.
bad bitch thick as hell in my wrist cold. I don't never touch her with bitches. I make a bitch fold. With a mow in the half. People make mistakes, mamas, okay? It breaks my heart that I even have to have this conversation with you. Boss bitch, boss bitch, all I ever be. Boss bitch, boss bitch, Fendi Louis V. Boss bitch, boss bitch.